Hello, Facebook friends. How are you? Lord bless you. And um, I'm going to talk about trials. I'm going to talk about what a lot of us go through um, throughout our lives. And um, I'm going through one right now. I'm five months into it. I never thought I'd get through the first month. But uh, here I am five months later because he never let go of me. And I never let go of him. You have to not let go of him. I'm going to read something. It says, uh, Take heed, brethren, lest there be in you any uh, lest there be in any of you an evil heart of unbelief in departing from the living God. But exhort one another uh, while it is called today, lest any of you be hardened through the deceitfulness of sin. For we are made partakers of Christ if we hold the beginning of our confidence steadfast unto the end. You have to go to the end. You can't go into the world if you know the Lord, you have Him in you, you have the Holy Ghost in you. You cannot go back into the world. Okay? Because if you do, you're out. Gold. Um, since this is about trials, gold, when it's refined, is brought to a temperature of somewhere around 1940-something degrees Fahrenheit. And that's what you are. You're worth more than gold. And so when you go in through trials, God puts you in the fire. And what he's doing is he's pulling the dross and all of the things that float to the top of gold. Now understand this, that the man who is refining gold has to keep his eyes on the crucible that it's in. Because everything else floats to the top. The gold stays at the bottom. The lead, um, mercury, uh, copper, um, you know, impurities that's in us, in our hearts. That's why we go through fiery trials. Uh, if you ever read the story of Job, you'll know that Job went through um, something that uh, most of us probably wouldn't be able to handle. And, uh, and you remember what his wife said, curse God and die. Well, that's to let us know that that's exactly what the devil wants you to do, to curse God and die. To shake your fist at God and, uh, and accuse Him falsely and look at God and go, what are you doing? Well, He knows what He's doing. He's trying to bring you closer to Him. And the only way that you're going to get closer to Him is to carry your cross. You're going to have moments of joy, but you're going to have moments where you've got to carry your cross. It's going to be painful, um, whether it be a death, whether it be losing your wife, um, finances, health. Anything that we um, we have a hard time dealing with, okay? Uh, boyfriends, girlfriends, uh, stuff like that. You know, breakups. Those are all things that uh, break our hearts. But if we stay with the Lord, if we stay with Him and just trust Him through it, because even though God is is ever present with us, okay, He never ever leaves us, ever, he never forsakes us. Like the Bible says, when He's refining us. He is more close than you can imagine because he is close to a broken and contrite spirit, someone who's broken and contrite, someone who, who comes to him and knowing that um, you know they're a sinner and, uh, and they confess to him their, their sins, they're broken, they're contrite about their sins, and uh, God loves that, and uh, he wants you to let go. He wants you to let go of everything, everything that you hold dear to you because he wants first place, and he deserves it. So, you know, when you're going through a fiery trial, God says, uh, you know, don't, don't, count, don't think it's strange. Don't, don't say, what in the world's going on? Although we all do. But just be faithful to Him. You know, just stay with Him. Stay in prayer. You have to go to the end. You must hang on to the end. And the end is almost here. If you see what's going on uh, everywhere, the end is almost here. So just hang on. Because a trumpet will blow and millions of millions of people are going to disappear off this planet very soon. And now a lot of people don't believe the rapture is going to be before the tribulation, but it is. And there's plenty of scripture to back that up and we'll talk about that on a later date. But I just want to let you know that he, he loves you with a love that um, most of us uh, don't understand. I mean, if God could put into you how much He loves you, the Bible says that His loving thoughts, thoughts towards you are more than the sand of the sea. 
That's how much he thinks of you every day, and it's personal. If, you know, hey, Jane, John, Jim, uh, Susie, Aaron, whatever your name is, he's with you. He's with you on a daily basis, moment by moment. When you're sleeping, he sits by your bed. He watches over you intently because you're that precious to him. So don't quit, ever. Don't quit. Lord bless you. Bye-bye.